adjourn debate on the motion that this bill be now read a second time. The question is that this bill be now read a second time. I call the member for Borkham Hills. Madam Acting Speaker, this bill no, is Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, sorry, you, this bill is about no, hypocrisy. No. Nothing more, nothing less. And it's not a surprise that it came from Labor because they are the party of hypocrisy. In this bill, there is no mention of Rex Jackson. In this bill, there is no mention of Eddie Abed. In this bill, there is no mention of Ian oh, MacDonald. In this bill, there is no mention of all those countless countless members of the Labor caucus who have found their way down to ICAC either before or after this bill was introduced because of their active corrupt activities. Mr. Madam Speaker, Labor created the Jobs Commission but no jobs. They created the Petrol Commission but as it happened prices kept going up. Labor welcomed the Vietnam veterans home, but they did nothing but criticise the Vietnam War and the veterans during that sad time in our national history. Madam, Acting Sp Madam Speaker, the Labor Party is all about hypocrisy. Remember the recent visit from Prince William and Prince George. The Labor Party were falling over themselves to get photographed next to the members of the royal family, but they forgot to mention that they're the party that wants a, corrupt, wants a republic. Madam Acting Speaker, Labor salutes the flag. They salute the flag, but they want to change the flag. Madam Acting Speaker, they want to get tough on alcohol-related crime, but they fail to support any measures to reduce alcohol. And, in, in, and they also, Ms. Madam Acting Speaker, talk about political donations, but when we scratch beneath the surface, there is not one member of that Labor caucus that has not received donations from hotels and developers. They try to legislate against union corruption, but they're bankrolled by the corrupt unions. Now, oh, Madam, oh, Madam, oh, now Mr Acting Speaker, right Labor are trying to reduce right corruption. They're acting in response to an inquiry into Labor corruption, the systematic corruption of the past Labor government, the same systematic corruption that led the opposition leader in this place and made him leader of the opposition. When I googled, Mr Acting Speaker, when I googled the term corrupt politician, guess what comes up? Yeah. It comes up Eddie O'Brien, Rex Jackson, Rex Corner, Ian MacDonald, Karen Polizano, Tony, Tony Sheldon, Craig Thompson, Robert Richard Bose. All these names from the Labor Party come up every time you Google the word political corruption. Just list name after name after name associated with those members opposite. So for them to stand up now and try to legislate against corruption, well, Mr Acting Speaker, they have forfeited the right to talk about corruption because they keep on pre-selecting and promoting corrupt politicians. How long did it take the Leader of the Opposition to report a $3 million bribe? Was it a day? Was it a week? Was it a month? No, it took the leader of the took the leader of the opposition three years, three years to report a three million dollar bribe. The leader of the opposition forgot that he was offered a three million dollar bribe. That's not something that we with the, this people on this side of the house would forget. Now I imagine that it is not every day that uh, that somebody is offered a three million dollar bribe. So when you get an offer of a three million dollar bribe, then you might remember it. But a $3 million bribe mustn't be a big well, deal for the Leader accepted. of the Opposition, as it was such your a small thing that he forgot. He forgot about his $3 million bribe. But what do we get? We get this legislation, which is nothing more than hypocrisy. Labor has no credibility. They are repugnant to the people of New South Wales, and they are repugnant in their addressing of corruption in this very place. Mr Acting Speaker, the fact that Labor even moved this bill demonstrates their hypocrisy. Labor claims that legislation should be considered. So what have they done? Whilst a joint parliamentary committee inquiry is into considering amendments to MPs' disclosure obligations, they talk about putting the cart before the horse when the horse hasn't even been born yet. So what is the coalition government doing, Mr Acting Speaker? Well, we can list it. We can list it. We delivered a record funding for ICAC. We delivered the audit office. 
We deliver the Ombudsman and the PIC, and, we, and they are receiving an additional $121.5 million this financial year. We passed legislation to strengthen the powers of the ICAC and provided additional protection to whistleblowers, lobbyist success fees, as well as Labor incentivised lobbyist backroom deals. But our government got rid of lobbyist success fees and we banned lobbying success fees. Mr. Madam, Mr Acting Speaker, what are we doing? We are bolting the back doors. We are ending the decisions for favours cultures that Labor led through the hawk of Britain-led <laughs> Labor government. Ministerial diaries, the New South Wales oh, Government oh, will make publicly kidding. available records that show quarterly diary summary of ministerial external meetings, disclosing the purpose of the meeting, the organisation represented and details of any registered lobbyist present. I notice, Mr Acting Speaker, that 90 per cent of the, of the, of the uh, Labor caucus has now left the chamber because they don't want to be exposed to this debate about how corrupt the Labor caucus has been and the history of the Labor caucus over the, over the course of the uh, term ICAC has been established. So what we are doing is we're established, on top of that, an independent regulator of lobbyists and the Electoral Commission. Mr Acting Speaker, we are developing a new set of ethical standards to all third-party lobbyists and others who lobby. What about your politicians? Further, the independent regulator will have the power to investigate breaches and impose sanctions for the third-party lobbyists. The primary sanction will be removal from the register, which is a ban on lobbying. For other organisations, they will be placed on a watch list, which will restrict their access to government at any meetings that occur. Two departmental officials, including a Nate Toker, will be there. Mr Acting Speaker, we are ending impropriety in government. We are bolting the back door. Labor is continuing their hypocritical whinge, but Labor has no right to legislate on this. Labor is the party that the people of New South Wales kicked out at the last election, sick and tired of Labor's culture of backdoor deals, Labor's culture of corruption, of money for favours. Labor's record is appalling in this matter. I oppose the legislation. The people of New South Wales want to see something done, and Mike Baird is responding with vigour. The question is that the bills be now read.